When you're building client-side applications like mobile apps, websites, or desktop apps, the Postman desktop app has a built-in proxy to capture and inspect HTTP and HTTPS traffic being sent and received in the application. The first time you start a proxy session, Postman may prompt you to enter your computer password to install the Postman Proxy CA, or Certificate Authority, on your computer. This is so the Postman Proxy can capture secure HTTPS traffic sent from your browsers and other client apps on your computer. To get started, find Start Proxy in the Postman footer. Make a note of the port number to configure your client in the next step, and start our proxy session. Depending on other applications you have running in the background, this can get a little noisy. Filter on specific methods, status codes, resources, or URLs. I'll enter a domain to limit the listening to a specific website. You can also save responses and save cookies to reuse later. While the proxy is active and listening, you can navigate to a website and do all of the things a normal user would do or maybe you're only interested in certain features or user workflows. Let's return to the Postman desktop app to see the behind the scenes API requests captured by the Postman proxy. Here you can filter and replay specific requests or pause and stop the session. Under the overview tab, you can see a high level summary of the session, browse the captured requests and cookies. You can refer back to the session under history or save the requests as a collection to share with your colleagues or reference later on. Besides websites, you can also proxy API calls from other client apps on your computer or other client devices. The Postman proxy works like the Postman Interceptor browser extension by intercepting and capturing requests, responses, and cookies. Whereas the Interceptor captures traffic from the browser where the Interceptor extension is installed, the Postman proxy captures traffic from any browser or client app running on the same computer as Postman or from other client devices like a smartphone on the same local network as the computer running Postman. Here's an example of a proxy session capturing traffic from a desktop application like VS Code. VS Code is running from the same computer I just used to run Postman, so I don't need to install a new certificate or configure a new device. And that's it. Use the Postman proxy to capture network traffic and cookies to replay and debug from your history or reuse later in a collection. Share these API calls with your teammates or generate mock servers and documentation. 